Yo, what is up, Niagara Wheat Field? I hope your day's starting off better than mine because this is my third time shooting this video. Um, I take it off my mom's phone because I use my phone with all the notes. And so far, her friends called her midway. And on the last paragraph, my mom's alarm went off at 12.15. I don't know why because I don't know what you're doing at 12.15. There's nothing to do, Mom. But thank you for that so much. Okay, let's get this baby rolling. It doesn't even matter what the day it is anymore or what day it is at, for that matter because there's nothing to do, okay? Nothing's going on except for you blue-collar workers. Thank you so much holding this economy together during this tough time. And let's get this baby rolling. It's episode five, and I have to say hello, Niagara Wheatfield, students, teachers, and parents. I know you probably feel overwhelmed with all the resources that are available. I am trying to make it easier for you. The library website has many sites under remote online sources. It's on the left-hand navigation bar. Hopefully you will find this organized and easy to use. Visit it as often as it's always being updated. Sorry, I have some in my eye. Now for the library laugh. What do librarians take fishing? Bookworms. I don't get paid enough. I don't. <sighs> Mrs. Zagda would like you all to know, seniors, now is a great time to check out scholarships. Go to the NW Counseling Center website for scholarship information. There are many different, many different scholarships available and the criteria is different for each. There is something for everyone. Please email your counselor or Mrs. Zagda in the Career Center if you have any questions. I would definitely recommend looking into that, seniors, because uh, I looked into it and now I'm going to Harvard for free, um, four years. Nothing, nothing but a peanut. Um, so I hope you have luck in that. Probably not as lucky as me. Juniors, when you are applying for colleges or jobs next year, you may be asked to submit a letter of recommendation with your application. You can request letters from your teachers, coaches, advisors, and there is information on the Career Center whether about requesting letters of recommendation in a form that you can fill out and give to your teachers when you ask them for a letter. Look at the college career planning guide guidelines posted on the website. Please call or email Mrs. Zegda in the Career Center if you have any questions. And here's your horny joke of the day. Why was six afraid of seven? I won't, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue that joke because you should know it. And it's because seven, eight, nine. Thank you. <coughs> get it, get it? Because seven, eight, nine. All right, now I'm gonna start requesting to get paid. Information about summer programs and opportunities for all students is being updated on the Career Center website. There are a number of opportunities for you to learn about an area of interest a college or volunteer and apply for a job. Email or call Mrs. Zegda if you have any questions. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope you're all able to get outside and check in with each other. Stay well. That's from Mrs. Zegda, I think. Mrs. Luce wants to say, hey Falcons, I hope you're all happy, healthy, and staying home. Please check her teacher page for a message from her. Mrs. Wegren has updated her teacher web page with instructions on how to make up missed classes. Some cool at-home workouts you can try and a fitness calendar you can do at home requiring no equipment. There is... Okay, okay, hold on. Lost my... There is something for everyone. Staying active truly does help the mind, so stay active. Even if it's only for 20 to 30 minutes a day. Only 20 to 30 minutes a day. Email her with any questions or concerns about your third period marking, third marking period grades. I just woke up, I'm sorry. Mrs. Pavisich and Mrs. Weimer would like to say, <clears throat> Hey, 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 Niagara Weefield. We miss all of our students and want to encourage you to check our Google Classroom to join the discussion. We hope everyone is staying healthy, getting some fresh air, taking care of themselves and their families, and we hope we can all be together soon. Hang in there. Miss Biscati would like to say she hopes that you are all doing well 
and misses seeing all of her Falcon family. My days are so much brighter when I get awesome messages from my students. And your history, history trivia of the day. In 1968, civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his mountaintop speech to a rally of striking sanitation workers in Memphis, Tennessee, less than 24 hours before he was assassinated on April 4th. This is mentioned in one of my favorite U2 songs, Pride. Absolute banger. NHS members, keep the cards coming for Operation Thank You. Please check NHS Google Classroom page for more information. And please submit pictures of the cards before you send them out. And your NW trivia. The Olympic torch for the 1996 Olympics traveled down Southern Settlement in front of our school. We lined Route 31 in front of the school and cheered the runners as they passed by. Mr. Balter's AP students, stay tuned for further updates on the AP exam. U.S. history students, cast learning assignments are due by Sunday. And PIG students, projects are due by Sunday, or midnight on Sunday. Share it in my classroom. And I, I think midnight means, like, the morning, like, because the next midnight would be Monday. So you got to get it done by, like, 12 a.m., which isn't actually that late if you've been staying out till 6 a.m. Mrs. Mulcair, one second. <coughs> Hold the corona. To my geometry learners, I miss all of you and hope you are well and safe. I have created a new Google Classroom. If you have not joined yet, please check your email and accept the invitation and sign up for my Google Classroom. I have posted a total of seven weeks of material to keep you busy. Please feel free to contact message myself with any questions. I hope to see you all soon. Mrs. Porter would like to tell her journalism students what a time to be studying the news. Post links of interesting articles to the Google Classroom. We are curate, C-U-R-A-T, C-U-R-A-T-I-N-G, curating? History. We're curating history. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, long day. So, that's done. Um, we are, st I think it's week three, eight, volume two of this week. Um. Nothing, literally nothing can change because you can't go out and do anything. Learned that yesterday, trying to go to Walmart, buy a penny board or something. I don't know. There's nothing to do. I did, though. Let me tell you something. Yesterday, I went to the Dirty Bird, which is uh, a great place to visit right now. Um, and I think it's in the LaSalle area. Greatest chicken sandwich. Well, it was actually chicken between two waffles and then fries. Oh, my God. God, ladies and gentlemen, it was outstanding. Um, it was It's not really that cheap, but it is worth the price 100%. 10 out of 10 recommend. Uh, you can get, like, spicy chicken sandwiches. Like I said, chicken between waffles. And here I am talking about food once again and a school's webpage. Okay. All right. Um, let's keep this up. I don't know how much longer this is going to last. Neither do you, probably, unless you're... Andrew Cuomo watching this, if so, hi. Um, let's keep this social distancing thing on lockdown, all right? No need to be going and, you know, just touching people. Maybe uh, today we go out for a run. If it doesn't downpour, which it looks like it might, I don't know. I'm not a weatherman. Uh, couldn't tell you anything about the weather. But let's keep positive attitudes. It'll make this a lot easier, make it go by quicker. Stay safe, Falcons. I love you all. Once a falcon, always a falcon.